Hello and welcome to the Online Excel Tip YouTube channel. I am Anil Dhawan and in this video tutorial, I will show you how to get quarter from date in Excel with different ways. You can download this Excel file from the link given in the description box and if you like this tutorial, please subscribe to my channel and get regular updates. During my initial days at job, I faced problems when handling dates to use them in calculations or functions. One of the things which irritated me a lot was to get the quarter from date. Since there is no built-in function to return the quarter number yet, so I used to look up for the simpler solution to get the same. As I always believed that there are different ways to fix any problem in Excel and today I am going to share the multiple tricks which helped me to get calendar quarter or physical quarter from any date. I have a list of dates in column A and let's get the quarter with different methods from column B onwards. A calendar quarter is a three consecutive months period starting on January 1st and a physical quarter refers to the period of three consecutive months that comprise a physical year for governments and businesses for accounting purposes. Let's first start with the calendar quarter in column B and to get the same, I enter round of function in cell B3 that is used to round a number up. In the first argument, I'll extract the month from the date given in cell A3 using month function. So I refer here A3 and then close the month function. After closing the month function, I divide the value of month function by 3 as each quarter has 3 months period. Now, in the second argument, let's enter 0 to round the number up returned by the first argument and finally close the round up function. And then just to represent as quarter, let's come to the beginning and type Q in double quotes followed by ampersand sign and there you go. The function returned the calendar quarter number for the supplied date and when drag the formula down till the last active row, the quarter for each date appeared in the rest of the cells in the column and all are correctly assigned. Now, let's get the same with another method. So, come to the C3 and enter ceiling function here and nest month function and once again take A3 as the serial number argument and then close the month function. In the second argument of ceiling function, let's enter 3 as the significance and close the function. Ceiling function rounds up the number to the nearest multiple of significance away from 0. So, after closing this function, let's divide it by 3 here as well and then type Q in the beginning followed by ampersand and then hit enter. There we have the quarter number in cell C3 as 2 since month April falls in the second quarter of the calendar year. So the first argument of ceiling function here returned 4 for the month of April and when it looked for the nearest multiple of 3, it returned number 6 which later divided by 3 and then finally it returned 2 in the cell and later we drag the formula down till the last active row to get the quarter number for the rest of the dates. Okay. Now, for the third method of getting the quarter, I'll use the int function along with the month function. So, first enter int function and then open another parenthesis and insert month function and refer to a3 and close the function. After closing it, subtract 1 from it and then close the main parenthesis and then divide the output by 3 and close the int function. After closing the int function, add 1 to 8 and then let's have q in the beginning to represent quarter number and hit enter. After hitting it enter, let's drag the formula down in the required cells. The int function rounds a number down to the integer. So if you take a look at cell D4, here when the month function returned the value, it first subtracted 1 from it and then later it got divided by 3. So when 1 subtracted from the 12th month, that is December, 11 is left out which later got it divided by 3. So int function is left out with the value 3.6666666666667 and when it rounded down, 3 is only left and then at last we added 1 to the final value which later became 4 and that is our quarter number for the month December. Okay. To get the quarter number for the fourth method, I'll use the trunk function with month function and here everything will remain same as the previous function except the trunk will be replaced with int function only. So let's copy this function here and 
come to e3 and paste it here and replace int with trunk trunk function truncate the number to a specified number of decimal places where the second argument of trunk function which is number of digits is optional and when it omitted it by default takes zero and return to the nearest value and then we drag this formula down okay the fifth way of getting the quarter is really interesting i learned this trick long ago from my givens youtube channel called excelisfun.com the trick is really amazing and to use that let's jump to cell f3 and start with letter q in double quotes followed by ampersand sign and then enter month function and once again nest another month function and then refer to cell a3 and close the nested month function now once again insert the ampersand sign and enter 0 to get merged with the answer returned by the nested month function and after that close the main month function nested month is extracting the month number from date so for a3 it returned 4 here as the month number and then it merged with cl number 0 which then became 14 and then main month function extracted the month as 2 from the serial number 40 serial number 40 which is the 40th day from january 1st 1900 falls in the second month of 1900 serial number 1 is considered as january 1st 1900 2 as january 2nd 1900 and 40 as february 9th 1900 and so on and we have got our quarter number back in the cell quite interesting isn't it so now jumping onto the sixth method of getting quarter from date which is also very easy and still many users use this one so first we type letter q in double quotes to represent quarter and then we begin with lookup function and in the first argument as lookup value extract the month from a3 using month function and then in the lookup vector let's enter 1 comma 4 comma 7 comma 10 in the curly brackets as we don't need to create any helper table for this then in the result vector let's have the quarter number as 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 in the curly brackets and then close the function and hit enter now let's drag this function down okay with this technique you don't need to create any table in the spreadsheet separately not only you can get the calendar quarter but also if you want to get the physical quarter you can make the required changes in the result vector and get the same since every country has different financial year but some of them also share similar financial year so here let's consider the financial year starts from april and ends on march so copy the entire formula from cell g3 and paste it here in cell h3 and let's jump onto the result vector argument and make changes to 4 comma 1 comma 2 comma 3 so deleted the last four inserted the four before one now calendar months from january to march will be considered as fourth quarter and april to june as quarter one and the same we get when enter the formula and drag in the remaining cell in the column match you can also get the physical quarter with using choose and month function so to get the same let's enter choose function choose function returns the value from a list of values based on the supply index number so first we extract the month using month function and then enter q3 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 and then in value 4 q4 and then let's copy this and paste it okay and then let's have q1 and then q2 q2 in value arguments since maximum month in a year can be only 12 so here i supplied the quarter associated to each month to return the physical quarter now if you take a closer look at the value arguments i begin with q3 followed by q4 in the first six values argument that means I am telling function here that my first fiscal quarter starts from month July as Q1 is mentioned first time on 7th position. So when I hit enter, function returns Q4 in cell I3 for the month April. April is the fourth month of the calendar year and if you remember, value 4 has Q4 in it. So likewise, you can easily customize the fiscal quarter for different countries.
Now moving on to the next and the last trick of getting fiscal quarter. So far we have used maximum two functions to return the quarter. However, in this trick we'll use maximum three functions and this one is little bit tricky as well. Anyways, let's begin with equal to sign then type Q in double quotes followed by ampersand sign to merge it with the formulas we are going to enter. Here I first start with mode function and nest ceiling function. In the first argument, let's enter number 9 and then enter plus sign followed by month function and take a3 in the argument and close the function. Now let's subtract 9 from it and then in the second argument enter number 3 as the significance and close the ceiling function and then divide the output by 3 and now in the second argument of mode function enter 4 as the divisor value. Then close the mode function and then add 1 to the final answer returned by mode function. Hit enter and we have got Q3 for the first date and when drag the formula down, we get the relevant quarter according to the United States fiscal year. And if you are in Australia and you want the fiscal years to be returned as for the Australian government, just change the subtracted value with the number of calendar months which you want to treat it as the last month of the year. And Australia's fiscal year starts from month July and ends in June. And June is the sixth month of the calendar year. So let's enter six here in place of nine. And there we go. Let's update the formula once. Formula return the fiscal quarter considering July as the first month of first quarter and June as the last month for the fourth quarter. To understand that how this function is working, Let's start with the month function which is extracting the month from column A and then further added with the number 9 and later it subtracted 6 from 8. So the number which returned in the first argument of ceiling function is number 7 and then it looked for the nearest significance of number 3 which then returned number 9 and then later it divided by number 3 in the first argument of mode function. So here we are left with the number 3 that is returned for the first argument of mode function which is used to get the remainder or the left or value after dividing. Here when number 3 is divided by 4 it actually didn't divide it exactly even once so the remainder here is number 3 and then last we manually added 1 to the final answer and this is how we have got Q4 for the first date. Similarly, for the next date, ceiling function here is returning the value 15 which then divided by number 3. So we are left with number 5 and then mode function return the remainder of 5 divided by 4 that is 1 and then last it got added with 1 that we have added at last to return the quarter number as 2. So what you only need to do is to change the subtracting value to the calendar month which you want to be treated as the last month of the fiscal year. If you come across any other alternative, please mention it in the comment section. That's all I have in this tutorial for now. I hope you liked and found this video useful. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.